It doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Don't go anywhere. We'll have all the action for you live next. Well, this is it. No grander occasion in football, and what a perfect venue befitting the unique circumstances. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box to enjoy the spectacle is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff now in the World Cup final. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Oh, this is looking promising. Martinez! Oh, did so well to deny him. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria oh, he's on in the behind them here, Derek. Suarez. Could take the lead. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to Sabre. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Away again here, one nil the score. Nine, continues his run. Cavani. Plenty of forward momentum shown by Cavani as they keep the ball. And attempting the through ball. And that will be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Just the challenge that was required. Oh, superb skill. Messi. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, God, it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. So back underway following the equaliser. Naitan Nandez. The cross is on. Cavani. Suarez! Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. Giovanni Lo Celso. Di Maria now. Plenty of options. And he's made headway. Oh, it's in. They're in front here. Now can they stay in front?
Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Lautaro and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head, smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1 the current state of affairs. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Well, they have the ball once more. Di Maria. The ball with Martinez. It's an effective run from Di Maria. Martinez! Here's the replay, and you can see why he's upset. He got something on it, but not enough to keep it out. That's frustrating for a keeper. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Cavani has got the right idea with that pass and the post getting in the way and a time for cool heads well I have to say I thought that looked to be going in it was such a good effort well they can't dwell on not getting the rub of the green perhaps they can create another chance now well let's see what they have in store for them on the break Martinez return to Di Maria Messi and he did well to cut it out offside by a fraction Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Luis Suarez. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, as they get the ball rolling again. Interesting to see how the second half pans out. Chance to play it in. Suarez. Well, this would help them get back into the game. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Goal! And the ball is moving again, 3-2. Di Maria Martinez now with Paredes chance to finish oh wonderful goalkeeping well you have to say from that sort of distance that's a wonderful save favouring the short one and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end De Arascaeta take some progress with the ball at his feet Cavani 
Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. He'll try his luck here. Well, the keeper had to concentrate. Suarez. Giorgian de Arascaeta. Cavani. This could be the equaliser. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, surely. That is a tackle and a half. Cavani. Martinez. Well, it could be on for him here. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, here's the replay. What a pass this is from Martinez. And Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so clearly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. minutes left for play Cavani and with that the attack fizzles out and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack and now passing it through being egged on by the crowd oh and it goes now he has his hat trick a special moment for him Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then it's a clinical finish from Messi. The outcome was never in doubt, was it? You just knew he would score from there. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And room now out on the wing. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. And time for the change now. Marcos Acuna Dybala Here's Marcos Acuna Five minutes left for play And all pretty decisive Pressing high And they have the ball again Ronald Araujo now with Nandes Luis Suarez Suarez he got nothing but ball he's conceded the corner And there's the delivery. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.
Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.